Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from the News Channel 3 Weather Center in downtown Memphis. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We've got, again, a decently cool day across the Mid-South. We've got temperatures today going to be much cooler than what they have been. Going to be going back into the lower 50s only. And also looking at a pretty dry weekend coming up. We'll talk more about that in just a little while. We'll talk climate information. We'll talk about weather where the troops are. If you have friends, loved ones, relatives studying or uh, serving with the military, I should say, overseas, we'll take a look at some of the places where American troops are stationed and more about that coming up in just a little bit. Forecast in the red bar at the bottom of your screen, 50s for high temperatures today, 30s, low 30s, as in frosty later on tonight with a possibility of a widespread killing frost across the Mid-South. So if you have outdoor plants, bring them in or cover them up. That's how widespread and how potentially uh, potentially dangerous it's going to be for the outdoor plant life for tonight. So your gardens, if you still have those going and you want to keep them going for a while, go ahead and cover them up just to be on the safe side. For the next few hours, temperatures looking pretty good. Golfers starting to head out on the links at Windyke Country Club and golf carts lined up in the early morning sunshine and ready to go. Next few hours, we'll see a few clouds, mainly looking at temperatures back in the lower 50s, but that's going to be about all that we see across much of the Mid-South area so not doing too bad out there. For this morning, again, not doing too bad either. Looking like a hot cup of Java, Java would be a good idea. Now, for later on this afternoon, if you want to kind of cool things off a bit, that's going to be your choice, but you may want to think about something warmer out there considering where the temperatures are going to be, but, you know, an ice blast would not be a bad idea. And this, again, your coffee, your rules, your safety, so remember, if you don't check it and you burn your lips, that's your fault, not ours. Tim B's webcam from around the area of Mineral West showing again beautiful blue skies, dry conditions out there, and temperatures a little bit on the chilly side out across parts of the area close to Mineral Wells. Ole Miss on the campus, some sunshine making its way on through. Beautiful view of Union Plaza. If you'd like to see more of our webcams like this one from Heidelberg Elementary and some beautiful colors from autumn starting to show up in the trees, go to wreg.com slash webcam, including the Power Center Academy camera, looking again at very clear skies and not too shabby where it comes to the sunlight out there. Senatobia, Mississippi the structure across the street from Ranger 2015's location coming together nicely, but not seeing too much in the way of cloud cover out there. We managed to pick up half an inch of rainfall yesterday plus at Memphis officially, but we're still two and a third inches behind for the entire year, so we could definitely use some more rainfall. Remember that November for the month itself for Memphis is the rainiest year month of the year. So this is very atypical for this month. We should be at about five inches when the month is all over with. We're not even close to that, and our surplus of 6.88 is dwindling rapidly because we have just not seen that much rainfall. We picked up much of that in February and March. Temperature for yesterday was 44 for a low, pretty close to normal, but 17 degrees above normal within about three degrees of a record high from today, 81, last set back in 19. 42. So not again where we should be for this time of the year. Heading into the rest of the forecast, numbers through the rest of the day. We'll be back in the mid to upper 40s by mid to late this morning. And by this afternoon with breezy northwesterly winds, upper 40s to around lower 50s across much of the area. Closing the day on Saturday back in the lower to mid 40s across much of western Tennessee. Upper 40s for the metro, east Arkansas, and northern Mississippi. Through this evening, temperatures back in the lower 40s across much of the area. And then through about the area around midnight, temperatures in the upper 30s to around the lower 40s. Before we hit News Channel 3 day break tomorrow morning, it's a good possibility that we will see temperatures in parts of the Mid-South dropping into the mid to upper 20s to around the lower 30s. So for the rest of the day, mid 50s, a little cooler than we should be, but pretty close to normal for this time of the year. Not exactly an Arctic blast, but definitely on the cooler side. Tomorrow's temperatures should be pretty close to what we see today with plenty of sunshine out there and temperatures in the mid 50s. Starting the foreshortened work and or school week, lower 60s on Monday with, again, a lot of sunshine and a few clouds here and there. Tuesday looks very nice, mid to upper 60s. Travel day on Wednesday, that's where the problem starts as we see showers and thunderstorms and some pretty good chances in the forecast. So no severe weather, no winter weather, but could need the umbrella as you travel to the airport or the train station. The big day itself, turkey day looking good, mid to upper 50s for highs and plenty of sunshine. Heading out to shop on Friday or just going out to enjoy the great outdoors, a little bit more relaxing, a little bit of sunshine 
sunshine and temperatures in the lower 60s. Heading into the weekend, not bad, but by the time we hit Sunday night, there will be the chance of a few showers out there, and some of those could linger into Monday, but a minimal chance and 10 days ahead of schedule, that could definitely change. So you definitely want to stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates on that. Weather where the troops are at 441 Iraqi time, numbers in the upper 60s around Baghdad to the upper 70s down around Basra, 70 degrees in Mosul and also in Najaf with partly cloudy skies there. Rest of the Persian Gulf, lower to mid 80s from Kuwait down to Qatar and into around the area of Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates around Bahrain and Doha looking at lower to mid 80s there. Back into the mountainous regions of Afghanistan, temperatures are back in the upper 50s. Kandahar is a little bit warmer back in the lower 70s, a little bit farther down into the basin area, but no rain, no snow, and no sand. Back into South Korea, temperatures in the upper 50s with mostly cloudy skies from Seoul, Chuncheon, Taegu, and Kunsan. Clear skies around the Pusan area, mid to upper 50s there, and thanks to everybody who's serving their country in these places and are not going to be home for Thanksgiving. More weather throughout the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. That's at Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And if you have pictures to show weather-wise, send them along, Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, and we'll feature them on News Channel 3 Daybreak or on our other programs. And don't forget about your weather app. Search WREG Weather on whatever particular system that you have. Complete checks of your forecast will be coming up tonight at 6 and 10. We've got NCAA football coming up and that'll be happening again through about 5 o'clock so our 6 o'clock broadcast will be our next one 10 o'clock tonight and I'll have your forecast coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak so stay tuned there. Complete checks of your forecast also at WREG.com plus the launch of the Goes R satellite tonight that'll be at about 442 Mid-South Time. Stay tuned to WREG.com and we'll bring you updates on that. Questions, concerns, ideas Austin.onic at WREG.com if you'd like to send me an email and like to know more about this video weather blog and let me know what you want to see on here, and we'll try to post it and do our best to make this your weather blog so you can see a little bit more about what goes on. And so we'll have more details on your forecast again later on tonight. From the News Channel 3 Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Austin Onyx. Stay tuned for more coming up with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day on air and online.